friends, this is Dr. Thomas Jackson, director of Mink Ministry, with my associate, Raphael Cobb, which is the manager of Mink Ministry Garden. So, Raphael, we're here to share with our friends a wonderful event that's going to occur. And we're standing here in our garden that Raphael has overseen, and we're going to talk about this event. So, therefore, Raphael, what is this event? that we're about ready to launch and you will be leading out in this event. What's the title of this event? The title of this event is called End Time Gardening. Mm -hmm. End Time Gardening. End Time. Yes. That seems like something prophetic. Yes, it is, because it is found in the book of Revelation. Okay. Chapter 13 and verse 17. Now this End Time Garden, End Time is found in the book of in the book of Revelation, because you mentioned Revelation chapter thirteen, yeah. so we're talking about a time when what? When God's people will not be able to buy nor sell, and then what do they do? Mm -hmm. You can't. I mean, buying and selling is part of our genes; it's in our DNA. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I don't think a day goes by when a family hasn't bought something, sold something, or seen something to be sold mm -hmm. on sale. So why is the garden so important? during this time. Why? The garden, I mean, is, go ahead. the garden is so important because if you cannot buy nor sell, then how are you going to eat and to support your family? Mm -hmm. You know, I think about a time in the, in the Word of God during the siege of Jerusalem. The folks was not prepared for that siege. And even there was a time where people began to eat one another because they was under duress and stress. So what I hear you saying, that there's a time, it's coming, that every earthly support will be cut off. We cannot buy or sell. Exactly. And the very ne basic necessities of life, which is food. We need land, heat, but food is gonna be an essential part of this process. Very pivotal. And so we are start, we, we, we're going to launch this event due to the fact that we want to help people to be prepared. To be prepared and how to do it economically. Yes. Mm -hmm. In time gardening. So, what does this look like? What are the people to be expected to learn? What are they gonna learn during this time? The people will be expected to learn many things. First, they will be taught how to prepare a garden mm -hmm. right where they are without having to buy anything. Mm. From Lowe's, from Home Depot. Wait a minute now. So, they don't need to buy anything? Nothing. They're going to have some tools? Well, the tools will be there already. But okay. in terms of, of, of amendments and soil and so on to, to maintain So they're the going to learn how to start a garden we, without buying fertilizers fertil yes. or any of those things from the store. From the store. Yes. Okay, go ahead. And to learn to do a garden without any fertilizer from beginning to end. Mm -hmm from beginning to planting without purchasing anything from a store. Go and ahead. how to learn to, to, to stockpile, to go through that time of trouble. So what do you mean stockpile? You mean preserving? Preserving, okay. securing, procuring things like leaves and hay and straw and wood chips and pine needles and sawdust. And that's all the plants would need once they become, when they're in a, in, a, in a broken down stage, that's all the plants would need to, to produce. Produce. Mm -hmm. So therefore, this is going to be a webinar. Yes. A webinar. So by conducting this event on a webinar, you are saying that the people will learn even hands-on? They will to be demonstrated hands-on. They will get yes. the very fundamentals, the yes. theories, and learn how to put a bed together, how to put plants, et cetera, et cetera. They yes. learn hands on. Yes, okay. and also we are doing a, 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 a video on how to do that step by step. Okay. Yes. So that, be, that video <laughs> will be accessible for those who want to uh, secure it. Yes. From start to finish. Yes, start to finish. So what time are we talking about this event going to begin? The webinar will begin on May the 2nd, 2021. Mm -hmm. At 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. So that's a Sunday. That's a Sunday. And it's going to go 
and it's going to continue every the first Sunday of each month at the same time. Okay. So therefore, May the second, that will be a Sunday. Sunday. And it's going to continue on every first Sunday in each month. Each month. For a long uh, period of time. Yes. Okay. And to access the webinar, you go to endtimegardening.com. So you get that. So to get get this information or to register. Register. End time time garden garden dot com. E N D end time garden dot com. Yes. All right. So they can register and be prepared. Now, is there any requirements they must have? Age wise, whoever is this for anyone? Anyone. Mm -hmm. Anyone. Anyone. Mm -hmm. So will they be able to find the cost? Everything is on the website. So just intime.garden.com. They can access, they can register, find out what the cost and the schedule on that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm holding something in my hand. I've been holding it. It's kind of withered. Now, this is what is comfrey, right? That's comfrey. Now, comfrey, I know, notice in our garden, it's, per, it's a perennial. It's a perennial. It, it, it comes back every year. Yes. It's going to a state of dormancy in the winter and it comes back early spring. Why is this found in our garden? What's the purpose of comfrey? Comfrey has many purposes. First, it has purposes for the human being, for the body. Mm -hmm. It is said to be a bone knitter. Mm -hmm. If your bone is broken, comfrey can literally mend it back together. It's good for muscles, tendons, mm -hmm. you know, now what about gardening? What we use it for gardening? We can use it for ourselves, for bone, for healing, yes, medicinal purposes. Yes, medicinal purposes. But how we can it, also drink it. You can drink it's it. It's a tea. Tea, okay. Now, my question is, because I've seen you do something with this comfrey, then I see you took what you did with the comfrey and put it on the soil. Yes. The soil need bone knitting? <laughs> it's so Huh? The soil doesn't have bones, but it suddenly yeah, needs nutrients. Need nutrients. <laughs> yes. So, so what does the comfrey provide for the soil? Comfrey has NPK, N nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. NPK. Repeat in that again. NPK. And in addition, it has all the major nutrients that the plants need. This plant right This here. plant, comfrey. So I don't need no horse manure? No. Cow manure? No. Chicken manure? No. Rabbit manure. Just comfrey. Fish. I don't no, no fish. Fish much. No. 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 Mm. Just comfrey. And it's a perennial. It grows. It grows every year. Every year. So how will I make this uh, into a substance that I can use for my garden? How do I do it? Three ways you can do it. You can put it on the bed just like that. And like will, this? Yeah, just so. And it will break down. Is laid on the like on the bed. On the bed, and it like will break this, down. like just like this. Put it around the plant, and it will break down. Okay, that's number one. Number two, you can plant a large field and tractor it into the soil so in the spring. Turn it over. Turn it over, and it will help the plants to grow. That's number two. two. All right. And the third way, you can take it, get a good handful, put in a container of water and allow it to soak for uh, after three days. Well, how big a container? Any size that suits your, your needs. So just take a handful of comfrey and put it in the water. Put it in the water. And let it sit there. Let it sit there. for Outdoors about, or anywhere? Outdoors. Indoors, it doesn't matter. And let it soak. Let it soak. For three days. For three days. After three days, mm -hmm. you apply it to the roots of the plants. Apply it to the roots of the plants. Hmm. Friends, what do you think about that? Go ahead. And get this can take you through from Planting to harvesting, Harvest. just comfrey. Comfrey. This is this is called garden manna. I call it garden manna. Garden manna. Yes, because when God was taking the children of Israel from Egypt to Canaan, mm. He fed them with manna, mm. which was one article of food mm. that mm. kept them. So and comfrey is the one article of fertilizer to keep you throughout the time of trouble. Is anybody else using this? Technique for conference? For no one that I know of. Mm. You say you're the only one? That I know of. Mm -hmm. God's fertilizer. Yes. Garden. Well, friends, I tell you, 
Just a little I know, I get excited anyway. But you can obtain more information from End Time Gardening. Garden. Dot com. Dot com. And register, find out the cost, the time. And Raphael Cobb will be conducting these meetings. Uh, is your wife going to be involved? She'll be, yes, but she'll be backstage. She'll be backstage? Yes. Mm, I thought the one was made from the rear, <laughs> not from the backbone. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> I see that you got a personality, they're going to have a good time. Any comments or questions, you can also reach you there through that. Yes. Endtimegarden.com. Endtimegarden.com. May the 2nd, 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. And you can begin to register today. If you found out a little bit about garden, how exciting. Especially how to produce your own fertilizer, comfrey. So we look forward to seeing you on the webinar. Until then, may God be gracious to you and bless you. Thank you for joining us.